Hello, my name's Kathleen Chalfant. I'm an actress who's lived and worked in New York since 1973, and I'm here to talk about a fair wage on stage. I'd say 85% of my work has been off-Broadway, and most of that in institutional theaters off-Broadway, and I've also served on the boards of a whole bunch of those institutions. My work off-Broadway has been the most important and most fulfilling work of my life, and the work that I've seen there by my friends and colleagues has been sometimes so beautiful and so fierce that it pierces your soul. But as it's currently constituted, one of the largest subsidies to the work off-Broadway comes from the artists who make it. The current median salary off-Broadway is somewhere around $600 a week and that is paid to people with master's degrees, so they have huge student debt, and sometimes people who've been around for a long time, like I have, who have 30, 40, 50 years of experience in the field. Whenever anybody talks about a fair wage on stage, everybody says, oh, that would be great, but how are you gonna pay for it? In my time on these boards, I've seen that there's a strange bias toward bricks and mortar if you start a capital campaign for a new building or to fix up the one you've got or to get new seats or something, you can sometimes raise tens of millions of dollars. But I've never seen a human capital campaign whose purpose was solely to raise money to pay the wages of the artists who make the work. And I believe if all of us in this field make a move toward the idea of human capital, we can raise enough money to pay a fair wage, maybe even a living wage, to all the people who pierce your soul eight times a week.